Hi everyone, it's Martin from Main Street Records. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're making good music as ever and I hope you're learning along your journey in recording um, in the studio. No doubt you have a setup as well um, and I have been making music for some time now. Um, and it's scary to think really all those different um, paths along the way of learning and having different gear, etc., different spaces to record in. But like I say, it's always a journey and we're always on a destination to get to a different level. Um, today I've got a bit of an off day in the studio, nothing really to do. I've given it a hoover. Um, a dust, <laughs> but um, I'd like to get into, and maybe we can together have a bit of a play recording the upright piano, um, using different microphones, placing the microphones in different locations in the room, um, and you can hear then hopefully we can both hear the results and, uh, and how it will work. So let's dive into this video and hopefully we can all learn something um, on this wonderful um, day. Cheers. OK, let's go. So here are a couple of the rules I'm going to put in place for this particular experiment when recording the upright piano. The first one is that the microphone numbers we're going to use will only ever be two mics or one microphone. So a stereo pair or just the mono recording. Um, otherwise, we could just be here forever. <laughs> um, and to be honest, from experience, that is the amount of microphones you normally need to record the actual instrument in the first place. Um, yeah, you can go crazy, place mics everywhere for the pure fun of it. Um, but like I say, normally that's all you need. So that's what we'll use. Um, the other part is that we'll be using a microphone preamp, which is the Neve 1073 DPX. Uh, so it's a great preamp, nice and quiet. So we're not going to be using anything else apart from that. Uh, rule number three, and the last rule, there will be no compression, no EQ as we go into the recording. Now, basically, we're going to be going into the recording device, which is our DAW, which is Pro Tools, um, completely clean. So we're recording exactly what the microphones are hearing, and we're not going to be artificially adding compression to dip the signal when it gets louder or bring it up when it's quieter or um, adding any EQ to manipulate the, the frequencies of the sound. Um, so completely dry, okay? Um, so yeah, now let's physically start recording. <laughs> Here we go. So as you can see, I've set up the microphones in a stereo pair, which is what we'd call, where you have the same microphone left and right, if you like, of the instrument, um, as equally spaced as possible. Um, I'm using uh, the same microphone, which is the AKG C414s, um, which are condenser microphones, industry standard. You'll find them in probably every studio you go to. Um, and for me, in this room, on this piano, they work the best, um, and I'm always happy with the results. Um, I'm going to be playing some just sort of like softish chords, maybe some twinkly bits um, for the for the tests. Um, so that way we get a constant sort of sound. Um, of course, I've placed the microphones equal, equally spaced apart and around this sort of distance away from the strings as well, um, just to keep things uh, as natural and hopefully as not uh, out of phase as possible. Um, but always check your phasing, that's what I'm trying to say there. Um, so equal is good. Um, and But if I was to play a bit louder, then of course on tests I'd have to listen back but then maybe move back the microphone slightly if I had to, or just adjust the gain on the preamp. Um, but let's have a listen, here we go.
So keeping the same positions for the microphones, I'm going to use a different and a much cheaper microphone, which is the AKG C1000S. Now, I've had these microphones for a long, long time, um, and they always give good results. So have a listen, see what you think. So now we're going to go for a mono recording and I'm using a U87 which is a Neumann microphone and uh, yeah they are industry standard as you may know and uh, great on vocals, great all round but just to give you an insight for how it might sound on an upright piano in a mono recording. So now keeping with the mono recording, I'm going to continue with the U87 and I'm going to move it back about four feet from the piano. Now, uh, this might seem a bit odd, but imagine this recording now with reverb, a bit of compression, maybe some EQ, uh, mixed in with some music as well. Sometimes it can really give a much more fuller sound um, or a more distant yet full sound. But have a listen to it raw in the studio. And just because I wanted to, and it's really good to have a listen again, uh, is the AKG C414s, but this time a spaced pair, but further back, approximately four feet away from the piano, um, to give a full room sound, but also to carry a larger sound, possibly, of the piano. Um, not as warm, because obviously when you take away the microphones away from the source, you get the proximity effect, which is basically when you get more of a thinner sound the further away you come from um, the actual recording source but have a listen see what you think
So there you go. I hope this journey <laughs> has uh, given you a very brief insight to the different elements of recording the upright piano. Um, you could be here all day. I could be here all day. In fact, sometimes I am here all day <laughs> trying to practice um, different ways to record it for a particular song um, that I'm working on. Um, but I've always found distance, a, a mixture between mono and stereo, um, trying out cheaper microphones as opposed to the more expensive ones can really surprise you and give you such a different insight into recording. Um, one of my biggest things is always remember there was a time when all this equipment really didn't exist, but yet great music still was recorded um, and it's memorable, you know. Um, so it doesn't always have to be an expensive way to record that gets you the better results. Just keep that in mind. Um, um, be creative, use your ears, as I know you must do. Um, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you need to make sure you feel good when you record your um, your instruments. And the upright piano is one hell of an instrument to enjoy recording, as long as you have a bit of an experimentation along the way. Um, so thanks for joining me on this particular video. Comment, please like, be kind. If you have any questions or maybe you wanna share how you record the piano, um, it'd be great to have a listen and great to have a hear uh, of what you do as well. So. Enjoy yourselves, see you on the next one. Many thanks.